You're very welcome back this morning. Now, the weather outside this week may not be suggesting that spring has arrived. It's pretty brutal. But our fashion today certainly does. Today, we're leaving the winter greys and blacks behind to concentrate on colour blocking. And stylist Judy Gilroy is with us this morning. Hi there, Judy. How are you? Hi. Hi. And of course, you're demonstrating colour blocking perfectly in your monochrome look. Exactly. But it's not about patterns. It's about blocks of colour, be it clashing or complementing each other. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is something that's really in every spring, summer, and this year is no different. The weather outside may not be great but now is the time to be buying your spring summer wardrobe so today I have some examples um, of how to clash and block your no, colours. You've been really good because you've really put me in a good mood actually I was outside looking at the models and the colours are gorgeous I think they're going to cheer everyone up this morning oh, after, after their breakfast. There's nothing like a bit of colour to brighten up your <laughs> yeah, day isn't there? No no I know and I've been stuck in black for a long time no, so it's been nice. doing well. I'm doing well I'm yeah. getting a bit more colour into my mm -hmm. wardrobe so you've got a beautiful one out first first out of the trap. Yes who's this? Sarah yes. coming out so first. So our first look today is that classic example of oh, like how that. to clash red and pink. So our top and our skirt is is from River Island um, and they just clash so beautifully they go so nicely together and we've even we've even gone um, as far as doing the pink accessories as well in the earrings uh, which are from night and day in Carrington. Now all of our looks today uh, I went shopping outside of Dublin uh, and headed down to Arklow um, so this is where all of our looks have come from today so you can see the little pink detail on those earrings is just so pretty picking up on the pink from the top. That's a great idea for a top for spring because even though the material is light enough you are covering your arms so there's sleeves and then it's high neck as well so you're not going to get too much of a chill. Yeah so that's something a lot of women like and we've got those bell sleeves that are so popular on the catwalk and with celebrities and in all the shops um, and 37 quid you just can't go wrong with that kind yeah. of a price point. I like it because it doesn't really crease either. I, I, I actually want to give the model my tights because I'm thinking <laughs> she must be freezing. I even with my right shoulder exposed I'm a little bit chilly this morning but I mean obviously we could pair this with jeans or you know or, or again red jeans different I mean different yeah. ways to do it and the nice thing about going for separates is that you can mix and match your wardrobe um it may be cold outside at the minute but the time to buy all the good stuff for summer is around this time of year so it's nice to have a bit of forward planning and to think about your wardrobe uh coming into you do summer. need to be brave now to be fair judy to color block in pink and red not only is it clashing <laughs> beautifully so it's, I might it add, suits but... a lot of colors and complexions though as well okay. and even like this the the skirt is is red and, and the top is pink and we've gone for the pink shoe as well which I just love they're from deviate and they actually do fantastic shoes in around the 40 quid mark so if you're saying color blocking does that mean we could go with that pink top and black trousers in the pink shoes so again you're getting I mean you know, there's, there's, no, a bit safer. Rules. there's yeah. no hard and fast rules I mean I would always tell people to do whatever they're comfortable with so this is a more toned down version of how to do um, colours for spring summer and how to adopt the, the hottest hues. So powder blue is something we have seen an Always awful lot blue. of. Always. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a beautiful colour and everybody can wear it. Um, so our coat is just in around 50 euro mark. That's from DV8 and we've paired it over a printed top this time just to give it that little bit of interest. But we're still contrasting against the accessories, the pink bag and the pink shoes. And is the reason why you did that because you're wearing blue on blue? You when know, if you had a plain blue. top, that, that it would sort of, it would be a bit dull, wouldn't it? The outfit. It would, so the top just pops and it's so pretty and it's got that neckline to it, um, which is so pretty and it does pop. Yeah. And that's what you're looking I, for. I, I love actually the, the dusty pink and, and the powder blue, as we mentioned, because they're the softest colours in the spring palette and it's just nice to bring them to life, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's something we're seeing an awful lot of at the moment as well. Those all powder blue looks or all pink looks, pink has to be the hottest colour of spring, summer. Um, so we're seeing so much of them in the shops and it's nice nice to be able to wear them and inject a bit of colour into okay. our winter And they're wardrobes. both soft, as you say, yes. soft colours, Lisa, so they these, really do complement each other. These jeans as well, so great. They really suck you in. Um, they're one of my favourite pairs of jeans. I think I have a few pairs of these myself. Um, and we're going for the, the shorter ankle grey. See, all three of well. you are blonde, so even with dark, we can go with these colours as well? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. And so. dark, dark haired women get away with I a lot more in, in, in terms mm. of colour. So now this one is, we've taken this kind of mint colour mm. and we're contrasting it against the pink. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, which is very pretty. So starting off with our accessories, they're from John Swan Jewelers. And we've gone for a gorgeous little Ted Baker pendant um, and the pink watch just to complement the whole outfit. Um, so our pink top, you'd like this one as well. It has little sleeves to here. Um, sorry, our mint top, 
This is from Carrick Dunn, but it does come in a lot of different colours. And the same with the leather jacket. I would have thought that colour meant, while it's beautiful, would be hard to pair up with another colour. You have the baby pink here. What other colours would mint green be good? I think it'd go beautifully with navy, and a navy blazer is something oh, that everybody has. That. Okay. Um, it's going to go beautifully with white. I think black is going to be a little bit too stark a contrast. Mm -hmm. Um, but navy would be Agree, a really yeah. good option. It's but this top does come in different colours. So if you want to mix and match and do it in different ways, and you can see the bag there is, is the mint green, so we're picking up on it in the accents. Okay, and since we're obviously kind of charging ahead into these spring colours, you know, obviously people's makeup changes, their, their nails colour changes, you know, it's not all the dark tones or burgundy tones of, of winter. Oh, ironically, I'm wearing burgundy, but <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, it does begin to lift the mood, it lifts the spirit, and you change your makeup with that. So you, you absolutely have that we go look. lighter and we go brighter and it's it's such a nice change for spring summer. All we need is the weather. Yeah, so we'll yeah. have more <laughs> more looks coming up all from Bridgewater Shopping Centre in Arco. Looking Thanks. forward to that later on.